Scenes from Club Mead in this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance. More on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the latest from Hewn Hall and the Resiliency and Education Center. Trade in your used electronics at the exchange and some road construction news. These stories and much more, but first at this week's installation town hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp talked about the return to health protection condition alpha. He says you'll see the expansion of some services, more ID card center walk-in hours, for example. He also warns the reopening or expansion of some services isn't dependent on the HPCon level. Some of the appointments that it will be easier, ID cards will have more walk-in availability. So you'll see some of that uh, a little bit but other issues in our uh, child development center, CYS sports, uh, even for at the bowling alley, uh, it opens up how many people can be there, but other things that you may have thought were COVID, such as the bowling alley's restaurant not being open or the bar not being open, have is just as much if not more to do with staffing challenges. Those staffing challenges don't change just because we went to HPCon Alpha. So, we are still actively trying to fill those positions, but now just know that COVID is not anything in a consideration for uh, why we don't have those open. The Colonel goes into much more detail on HPCon Alpha. You can watch the town hall in its entirety. Just go to our Facebook page and click on videos. Elsewhere, I have a brief road repair update. Mapes Road is being repaved from Rose Avenue to English Avenue. The project starts October 11th and is scheduled to be completed by the 28th. One side of the road will be blocked off with flaggers directing the traffic around the work site. Once again, Mapes Road is being repaved October 11th through the 28th. In more construction news, Fort Meade's new Education and Resiliency Center is one step closer to opening. Recently, representatives from contractor Whiting Turner, the garrison, and the driving force behind the project, the Fort Meade Alliance, gathered for a ceremonial key turnover. It's a very proud moment to be partnered with, with our, our sister organization, the Fort Meade Alliance. Uh, and then we're anxious to get started on raising additional funds to support the programming that we know will be needed as we go forward. So it's with, um, it's with gratitude, sir, that after all these years and the commanders that have been before you, uh, and you as our commander today, to turn the building over to you. A little bit of clapping. With the major construction complete, equipment, IT infrastructure, and other supplies are being put in place ahead of the ribbon cutting on November 17th. The center will open to customers on the 18th. Meanwhile, in news from the exchange, AFI started an electronics trade-in program October 1st. Shoppers can now trade in phones, laptops, tablets, gaming systems, smart watches, and fitness trackers to receive instant credit on new purchases or a gift card. Online shoppers can visit shopmyexchange.com and type electronics traded in the search bar. We open this week's show with a look at this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance, the food tasting being very popular. This year's event was hosted by the Army Counterintelligence Command and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office. The guest speaker this year, Command Sergeant Major Royal Becerra, the Counterintelligence Command's Technical Services Battalion Command Sergeant Major. I want to challenge you to make a difference in your own community, regardless of your background. You can make a difference. We can look at examples of these leaders and ponder how we contribute to our own communities. Big or small, every action has an impact. Whether it's volunteering for a local organization, making a difference in your community, or taking the time to mentor a teammate. There are always ways to serve. Thank you again for this opportunity to speak. It's been truly a great honor. In other news, at the town hall, Colonel Sepp also outlined Fort Meade's plans for Halloween. Trick-or-treat hours will be from 6 to 8 p.m. on the 31st. Meanwhile, for those looking for an alternative to Halloween, Argonne Hills Chapel Center is hosting the annual Hallelujah Festival October 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. The event includes free games, food, and prizes. All they ask is that you wear a family-friendly costume. And that's Mead Week for this week. Stay tuned for a brief message from TRICARE and Open Season. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Are you considering making a change to you or your family member's TRICARE plan? TRICARE Open Season runs from November 14th to December 13th. During that time, you can do nothing and stay in your current plan or enroll in a new plan. Once open season ends, you'll have to wait for next year's open season or for a qualifying life event before you can make a change to your TRICARE plan. Look into your options and eligibility now so you'll be ready for open season. Visit tricare.mil slash open season to learn more.